one of my projects here. Uh, there's a uh, website called, I believe, gardenpool.org, O-R-G. I ran across this uh, idea. Uh, definitely something I didn't come up with. It's pretty much pretty easy to, to find these pieces from hydroponics and uh, obviously the five gallon pail is not. The pump inside, it's like a 264 gallon um, an hour pump and it's uh, got a little, uh, how do you say it, half inch uh, pipe on the top of that with a little 360 sprayer nozzle head for either gardens, shrubs, or lawn. And uh, as you can see, uh, well, I guess you can't really see, there's like some neoprene foam insert uh, big washers there. And you can kind of see it's running. Can I kind of hear maybe it's uh, running in there? And uh, what happens is the spray sprays on the tomato uh, suckers. These are suckers I've actually cut off a another tomato plant I have growing here in a Dutch bucket system. One seed, I'm kind of hoping to get about Oh, anytime this thing throws a sucker, I'm going to definitely cut it off and uh, and uh, try to get something here. Here actually is a sucker growing here, I believe. You can see that right there. Sorry for the wiggly camera. See, I've got some tomato blossoms coming up here. This is the indeterminate. In other words, it uh, will keep growing until it dies. Or I should say, and it'll keep growing until you kill it. Uh, these things will get very, very tall. This one's going in my greenhouse once uh, she gives up all the suckers she can give up. And then I'll kind of watch the other tomato plants as they grow and start taking suckers off of them. And you get, you know, it's just pretty much a free, another free tomato plant. But uh, anyway, uh, real simple. This is a, actually a Titan Control, I think it's Apollo 6. Kind of kidded with the salesman, why don't they call it Apollo 13? Probably not a good idea, huh? Anyway, uh, I believe it's Apollo 6 or Apollo 8. I don't know uh, what it is, but it uh, has four timers per hour. This is a manual one. Uh, you can, it'll, I got it set so it's 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, and that's what you want here. This pump spray will spray water on these roots on and off, 30 minutes off, or I mean on, 30 minutes off, 30 minutes until uh, the tomato plant will grow roots. Now the guy that designed this, I'm not exactly sure what his name is, but Garden Pool, I give him all the credit on this. The guy was really great, he called me, or not called me, but every time I had a question for him, uh, he wrote me back immediately and gave me an answer. And uh, uh, need a three inch hole saw. Uh, I made a little uh, tool to uh, kind of mark out the circle. And then you just do the old, uh, uh, the six, use that same tool to mark the six locations for the outside. And this thing will hold up to seven suckers or plants that you want to clone. So very simple, very easy, no nutrients in the pail. Um, I guess you can uh, grow these plants to uh, finish if you wanted to. Uh, it, obviously, the thing would become full of roots, root bound, and everything like that. But uh, I plan on putting these either in the ground or I plan on, more than likely, these will go into Dutch buckets like this one here. This one here gets fed at 7, 1, and 7. 7 in the morning, 1 in the afternoon, 7 at night, and it runs for 30 minutes each. Here I got, again, I got to give total credit to uh, uh, MHP Gardener Bobby. Uh, he got me going on this. And uh, just an inside little quick one I use. My wife is really gracious about it. There again, we got another Titan Apollo such and such timer, but this one is you can do, I think, uh, I don't know, I think up to six on and offs, and it's digital. It's kind of cool. Uh, 
I guess I could have gotten by with the other one. Uh, much cheaper, the other one. Well, not really much cheaper, maybe about five bucks cheaper. Not a big thing. But uh, stuff I got out of Midwest Hydroponics, and look at this. I mean, this is just all regular hardware stuff. I mean, there's nothing, no rocket science here. Perlite for the median. I see it's starting to turn a little green. Uh, should really cover it up, I guess. I don't know why it's turning green, I guess. Uh, I don't have the water squirting on top of there. I guess maybe I should put my tube in a little further. It maybe is a little moist. But uh, eventually, get rid of the steel post in there and I'll put a string up uh, in my greenhouse to the ceiling. And there you go. But uh, very simple, very easy. Oh, look at that, I have a weapon. Hope nobody comes to take me away here. So, tomato trellis clips. Uh, something else you might need. But if anybody has any questions, just uh, feel free to ask. This is so simple. Unreal. Uh, how simple it is. And the nice thing about it, you don't have to water them. You don't get the busted tomatoes like you do, uh, where they get too much water and they'll crack. Uh, really something. This is a big beef variety. You got the seeds out of uh, Johnny's seeds out of Maine. Anyway, here we go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I can't give you, keep you posted on how this thing goes, but you can see that the leaves are starting to wilt a little bit. Uh, but uh, uh, that one right here, I probably will cut off right there. Give it a little chance. Uh, doesn't really need to be feeding that, but oh, phone's ringing. Gotta go. Thanks for watching.